Hi, welcome to educator.com. Today's lesson will be the staff, the treble clef, and bass clef. So our lesson objectives will be explaining this, what the staff is, what the treble clef is, bass clef, and we'll also be explaining the grand staff. Okay, the very first thing, the staff. This is your visual language of music. This is what you're going to be looking at. This is how we are learning the notes and the lines and spaces of the staff. The staff has five lines. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, always five, never six, seven, eight, nine. The way we, okay, so there's more notes though than there are lines, so what we do is have ledger lines. So if we have a note that's up here or down here, which happens a lot, we write a little mini line and then write the note in that line. Because I want you to watch if we have more than five lines, it becomes really difficult to tell what kind of note, and you'd have to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean, there's a ton of counting. The way that visually the maximum amount of lines we can see and focus on is five. So there are four spaces. One, two, three, four. Okay. So, four spaces. If you have any other space notes, we write them between lines, between the ledger lines, above or below the, the staff. So, the way we are reading music is with a clef. The clef is telling you which note is where. This is the treble clef. Taking it out of the staff, it looks like that. It also looks like a G because it is a G clef. The end of your treble clef points at this line. This line is G. So it's sort of giving you a visual hint that this is how you read G. Okay, the bottom line is E, G, E, D, F. We'll be using this and looking at this a lot in this course. So it's really handy to have a fun phrase you say to remember the order of letters. Emily goes backwards down freeways. Or if you liked the traditional way, every good boy does fine. So making something up like that that's really easy for you to remember, it can be whatever you like. Every good boy does fine is great. It's really easy to remember and it's short. Okay, bass clef. This is another clef we'll be using a lot in this course. We'll be using treble clef and we'll be using bass clef. Let's practice writing this. Bass clef goes, starts below this line, goes up and around. You can practice writing the treble clef and bass clef. We won't be doing a lot of that, so we'll have some examples to practice. You'll mostly be looking at them and recognizing that, yes, this is treble clef. Yes, this is bass clef. Let's see, what letter does the bass clef look like? It looks like F. The bass clef is really pointing out F. There is a dot on either side of the F line, and this is how you know that that is F in bass clef. The lines... G, B, D, F, A. Good boys do fine always. This is a really great way to remember the lines in bass clef. So we'll do a space phrase in the examples. Right now we're just focusing on the lines.